I know. You have called has Things been have been like super chaotic. <laughs> As I'm saying that, I mean, we've been sick. We're in spring break. So many things have been going on, and my mind is just. First off, let's talk about the direction of this channel. We have hit a thousand subscribers. <laughs> make more fun content, I hope, because nobody's really saying much of anything, so it's kind of me just taking the way up and doing my thing and hoping that you guys all stay along. I don't know. I don't know if it's working. Is it working? I don't know. Hmm. Hit that like button if you think it's working. All right, let's get back to basics. The reason why I started this channel is because, well, duh, I love cosmetics. I love the beauty industry. And I love anything we can do to help each other with our self-esteem, our self-image. That's why I love my job, hmm? career at Sephora. I gave it up to become a mom. Just because the schedule wasn't working for me, I wasn't, I was, all about juggling a little bit but first and foremost my son is always number one so I had to take a step back and that is kind of what brought on my channel. First off there's only one me Miss Ruby Sweet Cheeks. I know I dabbled a little bit in trying to be somebody else but I was getting too depressed with my blues so I had to turn it up a notch and go back to the sweet cheeks yeah and I mean sweet cheeks I was thinking, well, no, back to, what are we talking about? <laughs> so, I wanted to stay in the industry, but I didn't want to work. I wanted to stay at home with my son all the time. But he's going to be going into school full time, maybe. He's on the wait list. So if that happens, maybe I can get a job. Can you hear me? I'm so wheezy. And that is why I don't do the dabs right now. I'm still trying to get my health up. Uh, okay, I'm gonna work on my fitness a little bit because maybe that'll help. We'll see. It's gonna be a ride. And I want you all to be here for that ride. And I promise, I promise I'll give it back. Pay it for it once we get to that stage. <laughs> so I was a terrible MLM, I'm a multi level marketer, because I didn't want anybody to have to spend a ton of money. I know life costs a living. Everything is really expensive. So in that, I have a little bit of a cold, but I wanted to touch base with you all. So that is why I am here right now. So what started my channel is when I signed up to sell Wine Life. I was influenced by an influencer <laughs> who immediately blocked me because I smoke cannabis. I know. Girl, get out of here. I cannot even... I cannot even, when it happened to me, I was like, I don't think so. So then I um, figured out who was above her and I commented her and things were working out fine. Just the problem with me selling cosmetics, I've already dabbled in the greatest of cosmetics. I worked at Sephora. I could try anything and everything. So I don't want to scare you. Dimethicone is incredibly popular in skincare and in cosmetics. It is allowed to be in concentrated doses, like in very specific doses, which means it would have to be tested. My concern is dimethicone is the number one ingredient. That's to me is just craziness. And it's never the number one ingredient in a lipstick. It's used more in foundations, concealers, and like lotions, primers because it's trying to blur. So what this is doing is it's literally cutting off all the air circulation from your nail beds to your fingers because of this coating. That's why you see a lot of peeling, discoloration, soreness, redness. This is what was happening to me. I didn't even think to look at the ingredients because I assumed if it was on store shelves, it would be safe. I knew my fingers were saw like, sore and they're still recovering there's still sore spots redness tenderness and i think it might be from the isopropyl alcohol but there's also a product in here called dimethicone i know 
I had no idea dimethicone existed, and now that I do, I'm going to avoid it. Dimethicone is primarily used for skincare. It helps with the smoothing of your skin. It settles in to any imperfections, fine lines, wrinkles, large pores, and sits there. And it becomes incredibly hard to remove once it's settled in. This is the number one ingredient in the lipstick which smells like really bad gas. Like, not like toots, <laughs> toots, but like gasoline, which makes sense because like most of this product is a petroleum derivative, which means you're literally <laughs> putting all your car oil on your lips. And I can't, it smells like this. It applies like this. This happened I don't know why this happened. I hate the texture. I hate the consistency. And the very idea of this product. I just, <clears throat> it makes me want to know more. But in wanting to know more, I don't want to be biased. Now, what made me move towards Color Street was these guys. I don't paint my nails anymore because they chip too much. And I don't use Color Street anymore. Because I have found out too much. So I don't want to scare you. Dimethicone is incredibly popular in skincare and in cosmetics. It is allowed to be in concentrated doses, like in very specific doses, which means it would have to be tested. My concern is dimethicone is the number one ingredient. <gasps> That's to me is just craziness. And it's never the number one ingredient in lipstick. It's used more in foundations, concealers, and like lotions, primers, because it's trying to blur. So what this is doing is it's literally cutting off all the air circulation from your nail beds to your fingers because of this coating. That's why you see a lot of peeling, discoloration, soreness, redness. This is what was happening to me. So. Once I started looking, I did a comparison from a lipstick I have here at home. It was ColourPop and Color Street. The comparison was nauseating. The difference in the different in quality of ingredients. And I want to remind you that ColourPop is on. It's affordable and it's a beautiful product, and it doesn't use Dimethico, but other products do. Other products do. I'm just not a fan of it now that I've known and see what it does. Not to mention synthetic wax is in this lipstick. Synthetic wax is another petroleum byproduct. It is disgusting. And most specifically, it's a hydrocarbon wax produced from fossil fuel materials such as natural gas. Weird, isn't it? Why would you want that product in your lipstick? It is more common to be more commonly used as a paraffin wax because it's incredibly sealing and binding and it's going to prevent any like moisture loss, which I guess would be okay, but we're living beings. So oxygen, water, different molecules need to transfer or it could be incredibly damaging. It's gonna do the reverse of what you wanted to. And that is what these products did for me. My lips are still suffering. Now that my lips are so badly damaged from these Color Street products because of the syntheticness, like the artificialness of it is, it's insane to me. And I don't think I want that so close to my lips. I want something that's natural, that's eco-friendly, that's good for the environment, that's good for me. Why do I want something that is a byproduct of petroleum? I don't. I don't think it's the fastest of ideas, kittens. Mm -mm, no. But again, certain skincare people still use it. They believe in it. That's why there's green products. That's why there's natural products because some people like to go the cheaper route and go the environmentally harmful route. Synthetic wax is one of those ingredients. So I wanted to get something to fix this and do reviews of different 
peptide lip treatments, which led me to Haley Bieber's Road. Don't ever, please don't. It also has synthetic wax and very harmful ingredients. I haven't looked into her ingredient list because I'm still trying to like wrap my head around this color street. I saw the synthetic wax. I was like, it's in everything, isn't it? But then when you start digging deeper, like the dimethicone in nail strips doesn't have to be there. It doesn't, darlings. I emailed several other nail strip companies and they don't use dimethicone. So it doesn't need to be added. It's just an added additive to try and give you that flawless look that I think we're all having a little bit of trouble achieving anyways. <laughs> a lot of info, isn't it, darlings? In my head spinning with ingredients, the direction I want to go. I still want to focus on do-it-yourself beauty, but I know people don't have time, so I am going to be reviewing different products from the store. So if there's something you've had your eye on and you want me to try before you buy, hit me up in the comments. I'll try my best to find it here and give me, I'll give you a review. So that's the direction we're going, darlings. I'm still gonna do my recipes, but I'm starting to look at ingredients and why are they being used and are they good for us? And also reviewing products that we already love. I'm trying to get my hands on Selena Gomez's lip oil. I better get to Sephora. I better go. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next because I ain't going nowhere. And stay tuned for what's in store. Smooth as time.